The results are in, and now it is time to interpret them. So you should have two things on your screen. One of them is the Earth overshoot day, and the second one is how many Earths it would take if everyone lived like us. Earth overshoot day. Uh, what is that? To learn about that, I'm going to slime. My little sister is obsessed with slime. So I have one of her slimes here. It's a nice pretty blue, I love that color. And so we're going to pretend like this is all the resources that we get in the earth to use for one. Earth Overshoot Day, I made this pretend pie. It is cut into 12 pieces. And let's pretend like the whole pie is Earth's resources that we get to use for one year. Each slice equals one month. So this is my Earth's resources for January that I can use, <laughs> right here. So my Earth Overshoot Day says it is in June. And so right now I'm filming this and it is almost November. And so that means it's eight in eight months, I will have used up this whole plate. So instead of dividing it equally among each month, I'm going to use eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In eight months, I should have four slices left of resources to use. But instead, in the way I'm living, I've already used up the whole year in just eight months. I've overshot. Yep, I overshot. I haven't been living in a way that has been beneficial for the earth. And I know that I'm not gonna be perfect, neither are you, but I think that we can make a change and I think that we can be better. I know we can be better. So this is my personal activity that I decided to do. And I hope that you guys can follow along and do it with me. I'm gonna make a list of things that I can do personally that I'm deciding to change my life to better the earth. So let's get to it. I got a piece of paper. And I'm gonna write a list. It can be however long, however short. Just list a few things that you can do to change your life. I'll also put some examples up on the screen. So if those are something that you want to do to change your life, that's awesome. So please write them down. my list please pause the video uh, if you need more time but this is the list that I just came up with to personally change my life I would love to share it with you guys so number one shop at thrift stores shopping at thrift stores allows me to have new clothes to me but not at the expense of the environment I'm gonna buy reusable Ziploc bags. I go through too many Ziploc bags with my sandwiches for lunch. I've been wanting to invest in some reusable Ziploc bags. I will post the link down below if that's something that you would like. I'm gonna shower every other day. And I'm gonna drink all the water in my water bottle. I tend to dump the water down the drain because it's warm, but I'm gonna stick it out and do that for the planet. Okay, so now, but this water comes into play. If you find a place in your backyard, if you don't have a backyard, please go to the park. You can also use a crayon to trace your foot, but we're going to do something fun and make a little bit of mud. I would 
personally feel so inspired if you guys shared your pledges, your footprint pledges, and also who you're doing that for. I think that this could be a great chain reaction to start and to share with your friends and family the information that you learned here today and also um, to help change their lives and to help change the earth because this is a team project. This is a team problem and the only way that we're gonna fix it is with a team solution. So just like basketball, to fix those overshoots, we need a whole team on board. So let's go out there and win this thing. Ready? Woo!